Can you talk about the moment when time stops, when I feel as if everything is rushing at me and at the same time away from me, all in a split second, which also seems like a lifetime and leaves me feeling like a small child? प्रेम सुनो द क्वेश्चन अबाउट टाइम एंड इट्स ए स्टॉपिंग इज इमेंसली कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर सेंचुरीज Philosophy has been trying to figure out what is time. And there have been many different standpoints, but none of them seems to be. supported by logic and rationality the ordinary idea of time is that it is like a river that is flowing by our side that which has passed is the past that which is passing is the present that which is going to pass is the future as if time is a flux a movement and you are standing and time goes on moving but it is not true that you are standing because once you were a child now you are young now you are old now you are dead you are not standing <laughs> you are continuously changing because of this fact there has been philosophers who propounded a second theory that time is static it is always the same what changes is you you are the flux from childhood to youth from youth to old age from old age to beyond <laughs> because you cannot conceive your own changing process it is so subtle and so quick you project it on the time and nobody knows what time is where time is nobody has ever seen it nobody has ever touched it nobody has ever come to grips with time and its existence and then 300 years before science became became interested what time is because philosophy has not given any satisfactory answer and science came to a point where it needed an answer about time without it its many hypotheses remained simply hypotheses it was a gap that has to be filled 
and Albert Einstein proposed something which has been temporarily accepted. In science, nothing is accepted permanently because one never knows tomorrow somebody else will bring a better hypothesis. So science is always hypothetical. That's the beauty of science and that is the ugliness of religion because religion goes on insisting that whatever is written in the holy scriptures is true and true forever. No change is possible. How can there be any change when the holy scriptures of all the religions are written by God? Science has a more significant attitude. Everything is at the moment hypothetically right. Nobody can say about the next moment what will happen. That is the meaning of relativity. When we say something is true, it simply means relatively it is true. In comparison to other hypotheses, this hypothesis is relatively true. But tomorrow somebody may introduce some new hypotheses. In comparison to them, it may no, no more be true. Something new may become true. But that too will remain only hypothetically true. Science is very honest. 